<laughs> Thanks very much. Brother Cleve calling us all the way from... Boston. 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 Oh, well, I know. I'm, I'm completely confused. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Okay, and you're tuned to WFMU, where Huge Voodoo is playing live in the studio. And I think we have somebody else on the line, but I'm going to... Uh-oh. No, not San Francisco. There's a woman with a Queens accent from Florida. It's my mom. <laughs> Maybe it's Hillary. We're going to find out who this is and uh, check it out. <laughs> In the meantime, hi, Hillary. I'd like to give a shout out to Laura. Wouldn't it be amazing if Hillary, if Hillary called? What a beat! What a beat! What a beat! David Duke. Pig eyed, sow belly, peck ahead, cuckoo, pukes up purple, white lightning, way spit from Greystone, stark man, statuesque face, telling lie after lie after lie after lie, forgetting anguish cries of broken necks, castrated groins, where blood once dripped like coins into beggars' cups. So, Dave, what the heck's up? You say David Duke of pearl white satin And even if you don't understand pig Latin You'll understand his oink, oink, boink, bam The royal scam Another black pawn gone As crosses burn on the White House lawn Supreme Court justices sing along To this free expression of racial muck and mire So Thomas You burnt English muffin Smell the smoke Wake up your tush is on fire. <laughs> what a beat, man. <laughs> What a beat. Yes, we're rolling along with Huge Voodoo in the studio, and uh, usually we have the phone jam at this time. We're trying to invite poets to call in and uh, do some improvs, and uh, we actually may have a caller on the line. We're looking for poets, ranters, Hi, rappers, you. preachers. 500 years from now, this will be... Ah, we finally got music. Michael. Yes. Michael is back. Okay. Mesma. I hope you didn't have a lot of trouble. Mesma. Is it Mesma? All right. Mesma. Well, Mesma. Is it him? Yes. Yeah. We're uh, we're attempting to set up something here where we can have you jam live on the air, and I'm gonna throw you on now. No. And uh, we've got Michael live on the air. Do some poetry on the from the West Coast. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Can I hear the people? Bring the noise. This is a piece called Carjack, a riff on Crash by J.G. Dollar. Sir, can you help me? Okay, out of the car, asshole. Yeah, move it. Out of the car. Ah, you sucker. Move. That's the star, yeah. Standing there in the corner, wondering what to do. Put your hands up in the air. You know the routine like you just don't care. Now 
melancholy conjunction formed by a crushed vehicle abandoned on the grass and the serene motion sculpture of the concrete. I am obsessed with the mysterious eroticism of car crash wounds. No logical blood soaked dashboard. Deep belt smeared with excrement, sun visors lined with brain tissue. From each crash car sets off a tremor of excitement in the complex geometries of a dented fender and the unexpected variations of crushed radiator grills in the grotesque overhang of a dashboard forced on to a driver's crotch as if it's some how calibrated act of the mean fellatio. The intimate time and space of a single human being has been fossilized forever in this web of chromium knives and frosted glass. I have devised and terrifying almanac of imaginary automobile disasters and beautiful wounds. The lungs of elderly men punctured by door handles, the chests of young women impaled by steering columns, the cheeks of handsome youths pierced by the chromium latches of quarter life. The these wounds on keys to a new sexuality. I dream of the night of ambassadorial limousines crashing into jackknifing butane tankers. A taxi filled with celebrating children colliding head on below the bright display windows of deserted supermarkets. I dream of alienated brothers and sisters by chance meeting each other on collision courses on the access roads of petrochemical plants. Metal, and the hemorrhages of their brain tissue flowering beneath the aluminum block. I have seen the massive rear end collisions with sworn enemies. Hate death celebrated in the engine fuel burning in wayside cities. Hate were boiling through the dull afternoon sunlight of suburban towns. I visualize the crashes of escaped criminals, of off-duty hotel receptionists trapped between their steering wheels and the laps of their lovers whom they were masturbating. I think of the crashes of honeymoon couples seated together after their impact with the rear suspension units of runaway milk cases. I think of the crashes of automobile design, most abstract of all possible deaths. Wounded in their cars with promiscuous laboratories. And I think of all the other crashes I've visualized. I think of the crashes of psychopaths and plausible accidents carried out with venom and self-disgust. Vicious, multiple collisions contrived in stolen cars and even freeways among tired office workers. I think of the absurd crashes of neurasthenic housewives returning from their CDP clinic. Hitting hot cars in suburban high I think of the crash of excited, schizophrenic, gliding head on into stalled laundry vans in one in a street. The manic defensive crash while making pointless U turns on the freeway after the bluff of paranoia driving at full speed into the brick wall to the end of the known dead air. The distant charge and they're decapitated in inverted crashes on complex interchanges. Lesbian supermarket manageresses burning to death in the collapsed frames of their midget cars. Autistic children crushed in rear end collisions. Their eyes left wounded in death. The buses filled with metal detectors drowning together stoically in roadside industrial canals. I dream of crashing. Crash. How I flip from the tip of the lip. Ha! 
What a groove, man. Live from San Francisco and New Jersey. That's a serious groove, Boston, man. San Francisco, Mike Mesmer. LA. That was a serious groove. Now we're going to get one from my... Uh, <laughs> quick is how I flip from the tip of the lip. Hi, we're back on the air. We got another caller who just maybe wants to say hi, but maybe. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Well, this is Bill Hall. I just wanted to say hi to uh, Ben and Bill. Uh, and uh, and uh, to uh, Michael Mesmer too, too, if he's still up, you know, still out here. But uh, I was, I was just saying before I came on the air that I was, I was trying here, trying. I was sitting here trying not to call you guys because. Uh, because I was so excited by what I heard, I just wanted to listen, you know. But uh, but uh, you guys have blown my mind to the extent that I just had to call up and uh, and uh, I don't know say something. So I'm saying it. He liked it. It. Well, we're sort of encouraging people to call in as well uh -huh. and uh, to do their poetry. Uh -huh. So if anybody out there does want to call and contribute. The number here on WFMU is 201-678-7743. Call in and jam with huge voodoo. Different kind of phone jam. To the P, to the Poets, o, to preachers, the e, and purveyors of action should call. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what are you guys doing now? Are you starting something up there? Yeah, they are. Do you want words for that? Sure. to aspire to an American dream, that there's some great melting pot do unto others as they do to you. Our uh, violence is wrong. Um, uh, I have a dream type of situation, and unfortunately, that has not turned into me controlling my own business, me controlling my own thoughts, me controlling my own school system, and me and my people having the power that's necessary to make decisions about our own lives. Unfortunately for black youth, what we have been told is that we are to aspire to an American dream, that there's one great melting pot to unto others as they do to you. Our uh, violence is wrong. Uh, uh, I have a dream type of situation. <laughs> We didn't land on Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock landed on us. I understand 
the time is running out. Understand the time is running out. Time is running out of time. It's running out of time. I heard someone say things will change. What is blackness to you? How do you define it? Do you understand pride? Giovanni said Before you can break out You have to kill The nigger Inside Of you desire been one? Had we been one with desire to be one? Our desire to be desired and one's desire would be that drop into one. Desire's drop is a lonely crime. Her only crime to be desired. I had been that one. In the crossroads, I saw desire look back into night and claim it. I was tired that night, it was never meant to be. Cornet cut bop in two turns me three miles into Miso. Excuse me, ladies and homeless. I am three miles uterine, three miles screaming. Boston miles me, she got some shot, she got game, gun bug shot, shot by hot pop. She got me three miles back, ladies. Four trains packed with dawn, head me into Rudy Tootie tomorrow. Therapy with a sudden clock. Four stop, 21, I want a PhD in Walkman. Always wanted a little taste of uh, Buddha, a pan roll hand job. Turn me up three miles, screaming. In the crossroads, I can hear my screams three miles out. My senses clear out, they bleed in New York. My rhythm bed lies. A fleet is My system drops a lake in my sleep. The voices are filled. 100 miles stretch into rain. Desirous rain. Crowning rain. Another crowning rain squeezes into Boston. Let down by put down another mile squeezes into me. Squeeze rivers of motor mamas into me. Sense of into me has been wrung, ripped into out of me. Where another screen rains, miles and miles, see blue up, three minutes of desire in three years. And paradise is an arm I can cry into, and paradise was the razor I turned my desire into, and paradise straight two rivers of rain. Cut the cornet box two meter one into me so whole thick flat beat scale ascension miles Cinco Pluto River ring. Whatever happens will never happen. Whatever happens will never happen. Let me into this dark soft upon the copper. Gain my bridge to let upon. Load my six gun three miles high. Feel from me or at least hear me. Lift me into under into me. 
skin akin to the wind's wind key gale through forest night. Just to cry on someone's dream, someone's search, roaming the night wind, looking for someone who's gonna listen. Three minutes into this sleep, desire lay one of your kisses on me, I need to know someone who's with you. One hundred voices stretch into the still when you open your mouth. That collision never happened. I was left with this force traveling into memory. The notes of which have always surrounded never happened. Never happened. Edwin. That was Edwin Torres. Yes. Very nice. A frequent performer at the New York and Poets Cafe. Indeed, Edwin. Edwin Torres. <laughs> All right. So and I, I think we're ready to uh, close it out. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Wow. We've been having huge voodoo backing all sorts of wild poetry things flying through the air mm -hmm. and doing some craziness for the evening. This is WFMU Uppsala College East Orange. I will mention again that Huge Voodoo will be performing this Friday night at the New York Poets Cafe in Manhattan. Is that 3rd Street? I'm yes. trying to remember. 3rd Two, Street. 3, 6th. 236 East 3rd Street between B and C in the East Village, Alphabet City. And be there. And stay tuned for the Hour of Slack here on WFMU. Once again, Archie Bunker wins As the gatekeeper grins For a tour de four who sinned Then were let off Dred Scott free The verdict Don't believe what you see The city of angels to burn like hells Was a teen who fell shot in the back A sneak attack and to no one's surprise She was black, 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 black Just is And my thanks to Huge Voodoo Who've been playing the music faucet and beyond this evening on WFMU from Uppsala College. <laughs> Thanks to everybody in the band. Uh, Dennis Kelly, Bruce Grant, Harley Fine, Poets Baia Watson, and Reggie Gaines live in the studio. And many people not here, but calling in. Uh, Bob Holman, Bob Suber, Brother Cleve, Edwin Torres calling... And Michael Edwin from Mesmer. Michael Mesmer from uh, California. Too many people to name, and some great efforts. 
And again, huge voodoo playing at New Eurekan Poets Cafe next Friday night. One last question. Is there any way to get recordings? Yes, you can uh, contact uh, Huge Voodoo through uh, Apocalypso Productions, uh, which is at 10 Waverly Place, uh, Suite 2, in Madison, New Jersey, 07940, or through DK Studio at 101 South Union Avenue in Cranford, New Jersey, and the zip code there is 07016. Or, of course, you can call the station. Right. And just call up 201-678-7743, and I'll be happy to pass that information along to you. Thanks, Irene. Thank you. And Every stay time. tuned now. We've got Thanks, the Irene. Church of the Subgenius Thanks, Irene. coming up. Thank you. Good night, Irene. <laughs> Please don't sing that. Thanks, <laughs> Irene. Thank you so much. Well, I guess it's a about time to... Dials and gold.